This channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider us uh, subscribing and supporting this channel by clicking the notification bell and the subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Well, for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you are new to this channel, please support this channel by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. In today's video, we are going to, yet to look at another interesting Middle East country. Remember, we talked about countries like Oman, we talked about countries like Qatar, we talked about countries like, like UAE. And in today's video, we are going to look at another interesting Middle East country, and that is Kuwait. And we are going to look at the termination rules in Kuwait. Remember, in Kuwait, we have two types of contracts. That is what we call indefinite contracts and what we call an indefinite contract contract remember a definite contract in oman in in in, in kuwait uh, goes for three years and an indefinite indefinite contract in kuwait goes for more than three years and what does it mean that your contract your employment contract in kuwait will be automatically renewed will be automatically renewed will automatically uh, I beg your pardon, it will automatically uh, renewed and it will automatically expire in case you agree with what you call your employer at the time. So meaning that after your contract of three years expire and you are willing or not willing to add more work or more, more, more of your, your services to the employer, you can either decide to renew it or you can say to terminate it at a given period of time. But now, uh, something that we need to consider or something that we want to look at, what are the termination, what are the termination rules? If you want to terminate that contract with your employer, what do you need to consider and what is your role? What is the, uh, what is the right, your right and what are your rights of your employer? Remember, for you to terminate a contract, or for you to terminate a contract in, uh, in Kuwait, you are supposed to give a three months notice to your employer regarding your decision to terminate the contract contrary the same situation if your employer is 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 your employer is to terminate your contract signed with him then he has to give you what you call three months in advance what you call the notice period before he has to terminate your contract and a genuine reason has to be a genuine reason has to be explained to you why he is he or she is terminating your contract that is according to what you call the kuwait labor law remember at the same point when we are looking at some of the termination rules in kuwait which are quite very different with um with uh, other other gulf or middle east country is that uh, at any time your employer has a right to terminate your contract uh, if you breach or if an employee breaches what was signed in the contract and you may not be reliable to any compensation of indemnity or any compensation of pay or end of service bonus meaning that once he terminates you that's the end of you you only have to buy for your own ticket and you return home at that time you remember and you normally given what you call 24 hours only to depart out of the country contract in the same situation an employee also can terminate his contract with his employer if his employer at one moment of time breaches what was signed in the contract or what they signed or agreed upon in the contract that is why so some many times as when you look at the the, the labor law the labor laws is most of these countries um, uh, gulf or middle east countries emphasize all of encourage all employees to read thoroughly and understand the rules and regulations that govern their contracts that they do definitely sign with their uh, sponsors or sign with their bosses at the time because it is one that will call you or it is one that will save you at one moment of time at that given time remember when we are talking about how much notice period definitely an employee or employer has to give a three months notice period for the termination of the contract on either side and remember uh, still this the same 
still the same the same the same still the same cause that employees has a right to terminate his contract in case the employee commits any acts such as failing to abide by what you call the provision stated in the contract which like uh, and definitely he has to pay you all what you call your compensation at at time and remember and remember if you have what you call an indefinite contract with your sponsor or your, your your manager or your person who is in charge of your work visa or your work permit at that time and you can still you can still terminate that contract uh, so long as you give that uh, person a three months notice uh, about you resigning or terminating the contract with him at a given uh, period of time remember the labor laws are so harsh are so little bit strict uh, when it comes to 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 the employee uh, or when it comes to the legal terms uh, or the legal, uh, the legal terms at the time of it all. So exactly that, that one gives you a, a very good clear understanding and, and uh, a very clear understanding uh, with what happens in most of these Gulf countries. And remember, uh, in a, still another rule in, um, in Kuwait, when an employee is uh, is, is planning to terminate his contract with an employee, uh, with an employer. This should be uh, written down in what you call in writing, not in text or WhatsApp. You should either write and uh, submit a copy to your human resource or to the concern office, or you should use what you call official emailing, emailing address that you can reach out to the persons that are concerned with the same situation. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, don't forget to support this channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell and the subscribe button. It will be the only way that we are going to shoot up to one, two, two thousand subscribers. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we are trying to look at other more uh, labor laws in or other uh, clauses that concern the labor law in